What's up logical people, this is Amar. You have 16 motorbikes with a tank that has the capacity to go 100 kilometers when the tank is full. Using these 16 motorbikes, what is the maximum distance that you can go? All the motorbikes are initially fully fueled. They all start from the same point and each bike has a rider on it. Please note, we just have to find out the maximum distance that we can go. We don't want all the bikes to reach at the final point. So pause the video and think logically. I am sure that you have figured out that we need to transfer fuel from some of the bikes to the others at several milestones. But the trick here is to come up with the most optimized milestones. 90% of the people solve it this way, which is not an optimized approach. All 16 bikes start together. After hitting the first milestone of 50 km, each bike will have a half full tank. Transferring all the remaining fuel from 8 bikes to other 8 bikes will give these 8 bikes a capacity to cover a distance of 100 km from this point. The same way, after traveling for another 50 km, each of these 8 bikes will have a half full tank. Transferring all the remaining fuel from any 4 bikes to the other 4 bikes will give these 4 bikes a fully fueled tank. Once again, the same step will be repeated for these 4 bikes after 50 km. Fuel will be transferred from 2 of the bikes to the other 2. These two bikes will undergo the same transfer process. And finally, this bike can cover a distance of 100 km. Calculate the total distance covered. We get 300 km. But this approach is not an optimal solution. I hope you already have figured out the correct approach. I always suggest to start solving a problem with a lower number and generalize the solution to solve for any higher value. Consider a case with just two bikes. To maximize the distance, they should follow this strategy. A milestone is hit as soon as the donor bike has enough fuel which can be transferred to the other bike so as to fully load its tank. Then the remaining bike can cover a maximum possible distance. And mathematically it can be written as the milestone of the fuel transfer is hit at 50 km, which is nothing but the capacity of a fully fueled bike, that's 100 km, divided by number of bikes, which in this case is 2. And we get 50 km. Ok, now we can move on to a case with 3 bikes. Mathematically, the first milestone will be hit at 33.333 km because it's simply the capacity of a fully fueled bike divided by number of bikes. Let's verify it with our strategy. A milestone is hit as soon as the donor bike has enough fuel which can be transferred to the other bikes so as to fully load their tanks. Then the remaining bikes can cover a maximum possible distance. And I hope you already have observed that we need just one donor bike at every milestone. The second milestone would be hit after a further distance of 100 divided by 2 km because it's the travelling capacity of a fully loaded tank divided by number of bikes remaining in the journey. That's 2. Fuel transfer happens. Finally, this bike can cover 100 km. Now let's see an important case with 4 bikes. The first milestone will be hit at 100 divided by 4, that's 25 km. With our strategy, a milestone is hit as soon as the donor bike has enough fuel which can be transferred to the other bikes so as to fully load their tanks, then the remaining bikes can cover a maximum possible distance. The same process would be repeated for the remaining bikes which we have already seen. And if you compare the maximum distance with these two different approaches, you can see a difference of 8.33 km, which is a considerable difference. And this difference keeps growing as the number of bikes increases. 
So for 16 bikes, there will be 15 milestones at these distances before reaching the maximum point. And the total distance that can be covered is 337.818 kilometers. So with this approach, we drop one bike at every milestone and the distance between two milestones keeps increasing. And you can now see a difference of 37.8 kilometers between the two approaches, which is a huge difference. That's the power of optimization. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video. And if you're new, please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then, give a try to these beautiful optimization based puzzles. Also, check out Brain Twisters on my channel, Logically Yours.